1.7 kilograms, holding a professional record. One fight, one win, one knockout. He's trained by Rocky Hooney. He fights at a Bethania boxing gym from Brisbane, Queensland. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting you the reigning, defending AMBF Australian heavyweight champion, Justice J.P.H. Hooney! Gentlemen, I've already given you both your instructions in the dressing room. I'm just going to tell you again. Obey my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Touch them up. Back you go. Best of luck to you both. Good luck, fellas. They're two massive men, and it's a huge second step in the journey of Justice Uni. Here we go for Huni v Fosso. Bucks. What's his next level look like? Justice Huni in the red trunks. Arsene Fosso in the black and white. It's great to be with you, Ben Damon, in commentary alongside former IBO Cruiserweight champion Ted Kofi. And early on, Fosso throwing plenty of shots. Yeah, he's not taking a step back. He's happy to stay in there and just trade with Huni. Let's see if what that turns out to be like. He's got a big right hand. He calls it the hammer. Good defence so far from Hooney, but he's right in there, willing to trade as he moves nicely and throws his own shots. Yeah, beautiful shots. I'd like to see Hooney pop that jab like he did in the first fight. Just take a little step back, jab, 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 and work off combinations off that. There you go. Beautiful. Jabbing nicely as Hooney. Fosso comes towards him, but the movement is the advantage of Hooney. Where's these shots on the gloves, and how does he react? Did anybody tell these guys that it's a 10-round fight? Because <laughs> the pace is amazing for two guys as big as they are. Oh, There's a big nice. shot from Hooney. Nice shots. Huge nice. shots. Fosso wears them well, but they got through hard. Great combination punching from Justice Hooney in this opening round. Beautiful. I'll tell you what, Hooney hasn't taken any easy fights in his only his second fight. He's stiffened right up from those as Fosso. Hooney goes to the body, trying to create some space, and the uppercut gets through, and he goes over the top as well. Yeah, nice. Great movement from Hooney. Yeah, great switching the angles beautifully, touching the head, touching the body. Nice shots. There's the hammer. And he hooks in with the left hand as well, does Fosso, and he looks for the uppercut, but it's not there. The combination from Hooney finishes with two uppercuts. Great combinations, but Fosso's not going anywhere. Oh, here we go. Huge Big shots, shots from Hooney. Big shots. Watch your heads in there, and Ted, the edge and speed for Hooney is massive. Yeah, the combination work, the edge and speed, the, the footwork, the angles. It's absolutely gigantic. It's just that when he hits this guy, he's going nowhere. Look, he's just he's pushing, he's pushing forward, but great, great boxing skills from Hooney. Fosso got the right hand through there on Hooney. Had a good moment of his own, and he may have cut Justice Hooney. I can see a little blood in his cheek. Or is it his nose? Watch your heads. He digs in with the right hand as Hooney, but he felt that right hand. The Get hammer, as he calls it, from Arsene Fosso. Let's have a look in the corner of Justice Hooney. He wore a shot and blood spattered everywhere. It is the nose. And it's okay, he looks relaxed. Here's the highlights from the open attempt. Absolutely, a lot of work on the inside. Look at Fosso just giving it everything he's got, but Hooney was composed. He worked beautiful to the body. Brought the combinations up the middle. And even though we took them big shots from Fosso, look at the oh. work. Yeah, it's, it's just the, the difference in speed is, is tremendous.
Great work, great combination punching. Foster's got a good chin already, as we can see. Great work, nice variety of punches coming from Huni on the inside there. Makes the opening so well, but he did wear a big shot, did Huni. And we were wondering about his chin. Well, it's handy as they come out for round number two. Okay, box on. Quicker than that, blue corner. There Back on the jab is yeah, Huni. I was going to say, I'd like to see Huni use his jab. He's got a very, very effective jab. Beautiful. Jabs and moves to Huni. Fosso reaching for him but can't find him. Fosso is going to be very difficult to chop down his lump. He obviously takes the punch well. He's not flinching when he's getting hit by the big Huni punches, and Huni's just got to be very smart, very strategic, and just keep punching them combinations in. Yeah, there have been major shots so far from Huni, and Absolutely. Arsene Fosso has just grinned at them and kept going forward. He's a tough Cameroonian. Very tough. Where they breed them tough. Digs to the body for Huni. And there's the uppercut. Did he just wobble for a second there, Fosso? Yeah, I think he had to think about a few things there. Big shots. The uppercut from Hooney's outstanding. Goes to the body and then finds the uppercut time and time again. Yeah, the punch variety from Hooney is, is outstanding. Now he's on these ropes. What does he do from here and what does Fosso do? Hooney happy to stay there. Doesn't turn him. Looked like he could there for a moment. Yeah, Goes back to the body. Yeah, needs to use his legs and just turn him around. Just, just, just switch the angle. There you go. Big shot there from Hooney. The mouthpiece came out. They stopped straight away. Just rinse it off, put it in. It rocked him for a second. Over here. But he's still on his feet is Arsene Fosso. Time in. Box. Fosso has been hit hard, but he hasn't been distressed or particularly hurt by the looks of things. Nice job from Huni again. Nice job. Oh, oh. No knockdown. No knockdown. Down awkwardly there. Yes. Is Justice Huni. Box. Get that off, though. Left hand to the body is a big one from Huni. Fosso's shots are all chopping. He needs to get in tight to throw them, and Huni happy at this range. Yeah, more effective at that range, actually. Nice evasion. Great movement from Justice Huni. Right hands over the top of a shot from Fosso, too, and now against these ropes, and he wears a right hand. Yeah, he took it well. Chopping right hand. It's not your traditional big power shot right hand from Fosso, but there's obviously a lot on it when he chops down and you like that. Yeah, absolutely. That's the end of round number two, ladies and gentlemen. As mentioned, three fights so far for Fosso, three stoppage victories and all because of big right hands. Is the highlights. Yeah, look at this work on the inside. Huni just throwing them punches, the one-two body left up, using the legs to move around, adjust the angle. But Fosso's not going anywhere. Yeah, that shot took his mouthpiece out, but he's just he's just a lump standing there taking the shots. Huni's just 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 working on the inside there, just blocking, trying to block the punches. You can see them all coming, which is the key, but just working on the inside. When you stand still, his teeth are hitting you in the middle. When you just stand still, uh, when you punch, he's not landing on you. You've got to hit the body, so you have to punch. Let's go, big breath, big breath. Big breath. Bit of movement is what they want from Fosso. And plenty of movement we're getting from Justice Huni. Yeah, Fosso comes out with the spring in his step, but Huni is at the right distance there. His job will be very effective from that position. Nice. Throws in that left hand. Huni 
watching, looking for an opening. Hooks and then rips and then uppercuts. Nice combination. Fosso going to work here. Yeah, he's energized. Only covering up. Fosso looking for openings. What can he find head, against Chris? Justice Huni? Yeah, Huni's going to dig down to the body and come bottom uh, low and high again soon. You can see him looking, just looking for the next moves. He seems to really like that uppercut against Arsene Fosso. And it's been effective. There you go. Digs into the body. Left hand to the body is a good push? one from Huni. Yeah, you can see him setting it Big up. Big shots. Yeah, got All the left nice, hand here yeah, from Hooney. Beautiful. He's got the nice. He's got the hands nice and high. Nice combination punches up the middle. Big shots. Beautiful. The hands go down from Fosso, and he goes back to work here. Does Hooney on the inside the uppercut, working over the top. Yeah, Fosso digs out. in, but he's taking a lot of shots. And those coming back don't have a lot on them now. No, he's been hurt with that. Oh, body big shot. body shot. Fosso's in strife here, and he's Justice Huni is pressing forward with a minute remaining in round three. Oh. And that's a massive left hand that gets through. A right hand as well. He's taken a lot of shots, Fosso's taken a lot of shots. He's there to be hit the whole time by Justice Huni, who's breaking him down and goes back to the body. Yeah, the speed and the punch variation is the problem. That's the damage, the, the body shots, the head shots. It's really, really doing damage. Break, break. I'm coming in, let him go. He is so durable here, Arsene Fosso, to have not gone down from some of these major shots that are pouring in from all angles, with yeah. plenty on them from Justice Hooney. Hooney's just tied up. Oh, there's the uppercut. Yes. And to the body, and those body shots have got to start to hurt, Ted. Oh, sure they've got to hurt. But, you know, he's still in the fight. He's, he's hitting back. He's taking some monstrous shots. But Hoon is now backing up, just waiting, letting him, just catching his breath, I think, before he does another onslaught. Just might see out the rounds yeah. in this position. He turns and there's throws. Well, that's, that's the end of it. Oh. He's so accurate. Beautiful. Slick boxing, fast hands, plenty of power. And here's the highlights of another Hooney round. Yeah, you can oh. see beautiful left up to the body. Sorry, left up to the head, left up to the body. And just Hooney's just alert, just looking for his spots, looking to pick them. And he's throwing bunches and bunches from everywhere. Just jabs, uppercuts, left, beautiful left hand work as you mentioned during the round there. Just great left hand work, beautiful. It does feel like those body shots are what are really affecting Arsene Fosso. Yeah, Fosso's done well to stand up for all them shots. Bang, bang. You had enough? Time. There we go. So the referee asks, okay. have you had enough? And Adam Lovelock in the corner says, we will stop it on you. So Arsene Fosso has to get busy. And so does Justice Hooney if he wants to put an exclamation mark on this performance. Yes, absolutely. He's taken, uh, Fosso's taken a lot of shots. And Hooney has to take one deep breath and just, and just go for gold here. Big jab gets through from Hooney, goes Beautiful. to the body, right hand, combination gets through. All these shots so accurate from Justice Hooney. Moves well. Uppercut with the left hand was a good one from Hooney. He looks for it again, but Fosso closes up. Yeah, that uppercut back to him just a little bit. Got a punch back. I like Huni's variation. He's going body, he's going head, he's alert. He's slipping. He's counter punching, he's doing a lot. Also yeah. takes two headshots, and Phil Austin says there's no point in this continuing. 
It is two down for Hooney. The next big thing with another big win. All one-way traffic from Justice Hooney. And Arsene Fosso may not like the stoppage, but there was nothing coming back. And it was a masterclass from Justice Hooney, who had it all his own way. Yeah, lovely, lovely piece of boxing there. He saw some great variation as he did in his first fight, but he had uppercuts, lots and lots of movement. Look from the early round, punching to the body. Even on the retreat, he was using that. that and he took a shot. He took some great shots. <laughs> And they stood to them, and he came back, knocking out the mark. He's there, and just as you see him go through the fight, overcame that little tint of bit of adversity, and just kept throwing punches against a very durable, very strong guy. I just love the punch variation. I love that a big man moves so well from angle to angle with his feet, and it was a really, really good and positive finish. Um, he didn't knock him down, but I think there was just no answer from Fosso at all. Great punches. What did we see different from Hooney tonight, do you think, Ted? It just it just seemed a bit more relaxed. It was even when he went back onto the ropes, you could see that he was he was he was aware. He could see what was coming his way and did a couple of turns a few times. Fight too out of the way. I mean he feel he'd feel a uh, million dollars tonight. He looked good. He got through completely unscathed. Took that one big shot early on, but had absolutely no problems in dishing out his own punishment and Phil Austin stepped in with the corner threatening to do so. There'll yeah. be some complaints about the stoppage, no doubt, as Arsene Fosso was on his feet, but he wasn't giving much back. No, he wasn't. I don't know if there'd be many complaints, Ben. He was taking a million punches, and um, when he looks fit, he looks trim, he looks better than he did the first time as far as physicality is concerned. It was a good win, and I don't think there's going to be any real complaints. The corner threw in the towel, and I think it was a mercy stoppage. It would have been only got worse. So he's a winner again, is Justice Hooney. Two fights, two stoppage victories, and a big 2021 beckons with a man booked for fights with plenty of Australia's top echelon of heavyweights before he heads to the Olympic Games. Let's make it official. Here's Stephen Payos. Ladies and gentlemen, official time, one minute, seven seconds into the fourth round. Your referee, Phil Austin, has called a stop to this contest, awarding the victory in favour of your winner by TKO. Winner again, Justice Hooney. Two from two with two stoppage victories. And he's on his way. Super impressive again. Once again, he couldn't get him down. They're putting him in with some tough artillery. But he's dominant. He's got all the skills. And he looked the part again. Let's hear from him. Here's Stephen. Ladies and gentlemen, joined centering by 